बी रेडी फाइव सेकेंड्स स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द रिलीफ एज क्लेम्ड इट इज अपरेंट दैट द चैलेंज रेज वॉज टू द अलॉटमेंट मेड इन फेवर ऑफ द फिफ्थ एंड सिक्स रिस्पॉन्डेंट्स ओनली वी आर कॉन्स्ट्रेंड टू नोट दिस ऑन अकाउंट ऑफ द फैक्ट दैट श्री कमल हैड इन द कोर्स ऑफ हिज ओरल सबमिशन कंटेंडेड दैट नॉट जस्ट द अलॉटमेंट मेड इन फेवर ऑफ द फिफ्थ एंड सिक्स रिस्पॉन्डेंट्स बट ऑल्सो वेरियस अदर अलॉटमेंट्स हैड बीन मेड इन वायलेशन ऑफ द पॉलिसी ऑफ द कॉरपोरेशन एंड इन एनी व्यू ऑफ द मैटर इन ब्रीच ऑफ द मैंडेट ऑफ आर्टिकल फोर्टीन हाउ एवर नो डिटेल्स ऑफ दीज एलेज अलॉटमेंट्स वर डिस्कलोज आइदर इन द रिट पटिशन और इन द सब्सिक्वेंट रिजॉइंडर एफिडेविट विच वॉज फाइल्ड ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ द पटिशनर इट इज इन द अब बैकड्रॉप दैट we now proceed to note the rival contentions the petitioner sought the issuance of directions commanding the corporation to produce the relevant records in respect of the transactions of which mention stood made in the writ petition in the writ petition it was averred that the allotments of large tracts of land was being made in utter violation of the principles which must inform a decision of an instrumentality of the state which proceeds to distribute these allegations as noted above were primarily made in respect of the allotments made in favor of the fifth and sixth respondents it was averred that initially the allotment was made in favor of the fifth respondent on 30th september 2016 without any advertisement having been issued by the corporation inviting offers from interested parties in the writ petition the categorical case setup was that the allotment came to be made in favor of the fifth and sixth respondents directly on an application made by the concerned respondents and despite various objections having been raised to the proposed allotment by the joint managing director the allotment in favor of the fifth respondent was further sought to be brought under cloud upon the assertion that the initial allotment made in its favor was subsequently surrendered and a fresh allotment made in its favor on 29th october 2016 in so far as the sixth respondent is concerned it was alleged that the allotment made in its favor on 23rd january 2017 was not preceded by the issuance of any advertisement and the allotment itself came to be finalized by the second respondent by passing the joint managing director a further reading of paragraph 25 onwards of the writ petition carry the allegation of the petitioner against various acts of misfeasance committed by the second respondent it is alleged in the writ petition that the second respondent was favoring one ramesh mehta and that he was indulging in acts which were likely to cause pecuniary loss to the corporation the allegations as contained in the writ petition thereafter swayed towards the working and conduct of certain other officers and employees of the corporation the transfers being made by the second respondent put in a nutshell 
the thrust of the allegations was that the affairs of the corporation were being mismanaged and the second respondent at the helm of its affairs was indulging in acts of nepotism and corruption although we have noticed the various allegations leveled in the writ petition in brief it needs mention at this stage itself that the oral submissions advanced on behalf of the petitioner before us centered and revolved around and upon the allotments made in favor of the fifth and sixth respondents only reiterating the allegations leveled in the writ petition it was asserted by shri kamal that no policy which countenanced the submission and entertainment of applications directly by interested parties could be upheld by the court it was his submission that the issuance of an advertisement or an invitation of offers was clearly mandated by article 14 and since the corporation had failed to adopt the said procedure the allotments made in favor of the private respondents were liable to be faulted on this ground alone